Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't watched my previous video on creating a UDP custom account, make sure to check it out first before proceeding with this tutorial. In that video, I covered the steps to create an account on Green SSH with UDP custom support. Now in this video, we will explore how to configure the HTTP custom app to use that account. Let's get started. Step 1. First, we need to download and install the HTTP custom app on your device. You can find the app on the Play Store for Android or the App Store for iOS. Go ahead and install it. Step 2. Once the app is installed, go ahead and launch it to begin the configuration process. Step 3. On the app's home screen, you'll see various options. Look for the UDP custom box and make sure it is checked. This will enable UDP custom settings for your SSH connection. Step 4. Remember the server details you created in the previous video? Copy those details and paste them into the SSH field on the HTTP custom app. This will establish the connection with the UDP custom account you created. Step 5. To further enhance your connection and customize the settings, click on the plugin icon within the app. This will open up additional settings for you to explore. Step 6. Within the plugin settings, look for UDP tweak settings from the list and click on it. This will allow you to configure specific tweaks to optimize your UDP connection. Step 7. Configure the tweak settings as shown on the screen or as per your preferences. These settings can help improve the speed, stability, and overall performance of your UDP connection. Step 8. For a more detailed tutorial on UDP custom settings and HTTP custom app configuration, make sure to check out the blog post linked in the description. It provides step-by-step -step instructions and additional tips. Congratulations! You have successfully configured the HTTP custom app to use your UDP custom account. Now you can enjoy a secure and optimized UDP connection for your SSH activities. For more in-depth information and resources, be sure to read the blog post linked in the description. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you soon.